Okay, so this is Rod and Staff reading. So they start in grade one, and it comes like this. There are the teacher manuals for each unit. So there's five units, and then the readers, and then they have the workbooks. Now, I don't have the first ones because we have already went through those. But, so um, the readers start at the beginning. Super, super simple. Rod and Staff is made from um, Mennonites, and so it is Bible-based. So it's super simple. That's lesson one. <laughs> And then they slowly work their way up. So you just do a lesson a day. And then it's, it's about, you do reading every day. So there's 36 full weeks. So you, Monday through Friday, you're doing this. But this is the lesson. <laughs> Each lesson. See how they progress to your reading. More and more. Like this. And then... Each unit, you get a little bigger. They have some poetry in there. They have um, alphabet, so each day it starts with the letter there. M, N, like this. It's really cute. It's fun. Okay. And then units four and five. See, they, they get bigger. And so at the end of first grade, you're reading, like, small chapters. See, not bad. <laughs> um, the Mennonites only school through 10th grade, so they're each year they pack it in, so they're technically you could graduate in 10th grade, like they do. So it's good. Very thorough. And at the end of each lesson, too, they have the. My hands stick. They have the new words. So the key ones are the ones you've already learned. So ours is new, so you just add the S. These are the ones that you can sound out using phonics, and these are ones that you just have to learn or sight words. So for each lesson you do, you have the workbook. So if lesson one, why Abram left home, so you have that lesson, and those are the new words that you have. Then you do your workbook. After you read the lesson, then you do the workbook. And here's your words again, written up here. And then they have activities so you can get to know what the words are. So you fill them in there, so it's practice writing. So it's kind of like spelling, writing, everything, reading, reading comprehension. You figure, remember what you just read. <laughs> have that now first grade the workbooks start out super super simple they're like basic colors I don't have any more because we toss them after we use them but like the first one the lesson was one two words the workbook was just as simple so this is just because these are the last two units so they get a little more meaty but this is what it looks like so it has everything the new words reading comprehension that's it that's what you do for first grade. Super simple. And then the teacher manuals, they have all the answers. Well, I guess you can see what the workbooks look like by seeing this. They have um, phonics workbooks, too, that you can get. But for us, that was too much. So we just did the reading workbooks. So it shows you answers, things that you could say, go over with, with the kid for the lessons. Those are the answer keys. Like that. That's what it looks like in the beginning. Workbooks are pretty simple. Like that. So that's for first grade for reading. And then second grade, it has big, has readers like this too. So there's a teacher manual. I think there's just one and then there's the readers are split into two it's the same thing it's um you don't really have to have a bible class because your reading is your bible so that is what we liked about it so you're reading stories from the bible so it's kind of interesting because you learn the bible stories 
while you're learning to read. So I like chapter books here. And then um, the workbooks that go with it. Bam, I have a whole bunch because I had just ordered them. Same thing. Um, they have a little bit different, I guess, right here. Before you read the story, you go over your new words. And then after you read this story, comes the reading comprehension part. There you go. So it's like four pages each now. What is the second in second grade? So one, two, three, four. Yeah, there's four workbook pages. So after you read your lesson, then you do your your workbook pages. So that's it for reading with the teacher manual as usual, with the answers and then going over the lesson. So that is pretty simple. And then third grade. Oops, I have two in there. This is third grade. Same thing. I guess I could be showing you the table of contents. I think they show on their website all that. So this is third grade. Okay. Same thing, it's like small chapter stories. By then they're really reading. Okay, and then they have workbooks too. They have workbooks every grade like that. And then fourth, little teacher's manual. <laughs> they only have this, it comes with workbooks too, but I don't have those. So this is grade four, goes over Gospel of John, Book of Acts, Job, Psalms, and Proverbs. Okay, so it's all broken down. The writing gets a little smaller. Okay, just like that. Some poems. Okay, and the teacher manual with the answers and ideas of how to discuss it. Now once you get to the middle school grades, this is 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th. So that changes from the the younger elementary Bible stories to this. So this is the 5th grade reader and then it has the workbook with it. Oh, this teacher manual and then the workbook which I do not have at a time. So this is the contents. It, now it starts going into short stories and things like that. So you're in middle school. So like this story. See, it's like that. And then you do the workbook pages. And then um, sometimes they'll have poetry. And then in the workbook, you'll discuss like what you think it means. So it has lots of things like this. So you're getting more mature here. <laughs> and then the teacher manual shows the workbook, what the student workbook looks like, because it's the answer key. And then it gives notes for your lesson and answers, of course. This is what the workbooks look like. There's multiple choice, fill in the blank. Okay, so he said that's fifth, and then six is about the same. You just learn more. More short stories. Okay. Long stories. <laughs> and they have new words and terms and vocabulary exercises at the back. Okay, this is the workbook. Kept a workbook. See, same kind of four pages worth. Yep. Okay. 
so that's it with the teacher manual. Okay, and then seventh. Examples is kind of the same, and the kids just do it on their own the reading and the workbook. And okay, there's teacher manual, has the questions you'd ask them for discussion after they read it, and then eighth. And like I said, they go up to tenth, I think these go up to tenth. We will know when we get there. <laughs> so it's great because it stretches their mind with reading comprehension and not only learning new words, but really thinking about things. And of course it teaches good morals and character building. And my kids love to read anyway, so they like the short stories. Eighth grade. We learn things too. There's a lot of nature involved. Okay, and then the teacher manual. So I know for seventh and eighth, there is no workbook. They just do a notebook, a spiral notebook, and write the answers, and you can go over it with them. Here are the questions they have, because they have these questions at the end of the chapter in the books. Just go over it. So that is it for Rod and Staff for reading. So as you can see, it's very thorough. Of course, it's a biblical approach, um, and you can kind of take care of all that in one. It's very kid-friendly, simple. So that's about it for Ron Staff Reading.